Hello and welcome back to another certified OG Shafian video. This is part 2 of our road trip all across America. We're traveling around 4,500 kilometers from the east coast all the way over to the west coast in only 3 days because we want to arrive in time for Monterey Car Week, which is supposed to be paradise on earth for car enthusiasts. We're doing this road trip in my E39 M5 because my E60 M5 that we initially planned to do it with broke down. I bought this car only two days ago and so far it's been great for this road trip. The first stop on our trip today is going to be Route 66. Let's see how it will hold up for the rest of this trip. So get ready and enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to another certified OG Shafian video. Uh, this is pretty much part two of our road trip with this lovely M5 E39 that we bought back in the east coast all the way over to the west coast of the US. We are now pretty much in the middle of America. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're in Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. It got pretty dark yesterday when we arrived. So I don't really know what to expect from Oklahoma. But so far looking at this, I would say there's not really much to do around here. Basically we're in the Great Plains and they have pretty much nothing here. We are still in the world's most squatted M5. Yeah, we really have to, I don't know, change our equipment or something because it kind of looks a bit stupid. We're going to enter the Route 66 today, so that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Everybody's inside already. Yeah, Woos. <laughs> I would say let's go. Let's start this adventure. Front of the Donado Alley. 22 hours left to go. 1,564 miles. This car has been very good so far. Very comfortable, very nice, sounds good. Pretty fast, I would say. So we did buy a great car for this trip, I would say. Route 66. So if you're wondering what the Route 66 looks like now, at least here in Oklahoma, then uh, this is it. We're going to drive some parts of the Route 66 on the way now. This is Route 66 going. <laughs> Most of it has been replaced by the E40 highway. So the Route 66 is slowly dying <laughs> and you can see it. But okay. it kind of feels very cool to drive here. Yeah, so this here is Route 66 and this over here is the highway that has replaced Route 66. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this road is just riddled with potholes. So if you have a low car or a slammed car, you should probably raise it up before going to Route 66. Jeder, der da drüben fährt, wird sich denken, der Trottel fährt auf der Route 66. <laughs> in the night time it's insane if you scrape because you see sparks flying everywhere. But we found out yesterday what is scraping and Manny Gable said it's not the important part of the car. The frame. <laughs> I don't know why it's not important to cable the money, money but <laughs> if they say it's okay then I'm just gonna leave it up. I honestly think the Route 66 is gonna get more interesting the further down we go because I've never heard somebody say they want to see the Route 66 in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Yeah, sure. yeah. 40 degrees Celsius. Ah. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty famous spot on Route 66. It's called U Drop In. Oh my god. Shocked out with a fingers, Ella. First. Why I was this way in P. Lipped on the Ich muss mir irgendwie aufregen davor gestellt, muss ich sagen. Das ist gestört. Das sind halt die ersten aus unserem Gebiet, die da waren. Aus dem Pinzgau. Aber Werner sind schon ein paar Ja. Gabo, deine Kollegen sind schon da gewesen. Ja, ich war schon mal da mit einer Reisegruppe. Ohne Scheiß, ich bin so neidig um das Hemd. Das ist so geil. <lacht> Weiter geht's, Jungs. Ich möchte nichts sagen, nur auf Sendsmatch ist natürlich das Beste. Kauft es. 
three stars. Oh shit! Don't chase us. It, we are currently taking a small detour because a huge part of Route 66 is closed for some reason. <laughs> uh, exactly the spot where I want to go is in that closed up area, so we're trying to find a way to sneak into. But yeah, we've been driving for one hour, actually two hours I think it was, since the last spot. So you can imagine how many more times we bought him out in the car. <laughs> I never really thought we're gonna make it all the way to Texas. So good. And I'm actually so glad we chose this M5 and not the E60 M5. We just watched the first video of the E60 M5 and I don't think the car would have made it, honestly. So this is a good tribute to my other M5, that we're at least taking one M5 all the way across America. And it's not the shady one. Who is this? Da hinten, ihr dort die coole Auto eine fahren. Was ist das für Scheiß? Hey, Stonehenge, oder Hello, Mr. Vacationer. Mr. Vacationer. Ich bin der CEO von der Route 66. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, this is the uh, world's famous Cadillac Ranch here in Texas. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, but there's 10 Cadillacs inside the ground and it's so muddy, I don't even want to go near it. Is this FIFA? We're going to get FIFA on the Cadillac. What's the Russian, Joach? That was no Wow, oh yeah, that's the whole thing. Wow, it's not bad. <lacht> Geil! Kommt der Schäf wieder rum? Ausgerechnet mit dir. Alright, new shoes. Let's continue the journey. Route 66, we're not done with you yet. Yeah, we're back on the OG Route 66 again. Nice set, by the way. I honestly, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I need to. It's an issue as well. I'm really sorry, guys. I have to do it. Baja, Mexico, and then I went to Florida, Key West, and now I'm heading back to Alaska. When did you start? Oh, about five months ago. That's <laughs> so you guys flew over here? That's yeah. not a rental car. Or no, no, we bought it in uh, you bought a car? South Carolina. Now. That's the way to do it, huh? Yeah, kind of. And then sell it or whatever? No, they're cheaper here than in Europe, so we buy it here and then we ship it back to Europe. Oh, really? Ship it over and it's yeah. just cheaper? Yeah, way cheaper. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to keep on cruising, man. Enjoy yeah, have a good one. Enjoy See your you. days. <laughs> See you, man. Oh, this is good. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, we are at the border to <laughs> New Mexico. I have to go to the toilet so bad. But he said there's rattlesnakes everywhere, so I don't want to get bit in the ass by a rattlesnake. There's a huge storm coming back there as well. Let's just take some pictures of the M5 and then we head out, I guess. Yeah. We already found a shop for tomorrow so we can race the car at least a little bit because I also needed to slide. You saw it in those drifts, the car just squats so low and the rear tire is scraping the inner fender, which makes the car lose power. But Let's continue our journey, I guess. It's Manny's time to drive now because I'm a bit tired already. After this little pit stop at the abandoned gas station in New Mexico, we got into the car again to drive the last few hours for today because we wanted to get all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona. We stopped really quick for dinner at a special Route 66 restaurant in Albuquerque, New Mexico and then made our way again. But disaster struck at the border to Arizona. I don't even know what to say honestly at this point. This is so stupid. The view on the donuts guy but I don't understand. Hey man, uh, we are stranded like uh, 10 minutes from Gallup. Uh, we have a flat tire. Is it possible that you tow us somewhere where we can maybe get a new tire today or tomorrow? They're probably not until tomorrow they'll get to you, brother, but I could take you to a tire shop if that's where you want to go. Um, do you yeah. have an iPhone, brother, where you could send your location? Yes, sure. I'm going to send you the location on, on text. Um, how long until you guys are here? Uh, about 25-30 minutes, probably, brother. Okay, sounds good. See you then. <laughs> <lacht> Reifen und ich sind eine Love-Hate-Relationship. In, in den USA schon, ja. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And today we lost the tire. But good thing is tomorrow we can lift up the car and at least uh, raise it up. That's, we the tire. that's good. Always be positive. Nah. Und da macht er keine Sorgen, das machen wir jetzt hier. Hey, guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Zimmer, Kollege. Ja. Yeah, we are going to make our way back to the tire shop now, which is a 10 minute walk. That was the worst hotel we slept in so far. But we slept, so that's good. Let's see what we can do with my M5. Gonna need some tires. Pretty rare dimension, I hope they're gonna have some, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Delta type. I hope they can help. So we lost three hours of driving yesterday because obviously a flat tire, we wanted to go way further in the night. Stranded here, literally in the middle of nowhere. It's like a small city with around, I would say like 5,000 inhabitants. And as you can imagine, nobody here has these tires. So we've been calling around for the last one and a half hours and like uh, the closest cities, uh, we found two tires. They're a bit bigger, 285, 35, 18s, but they work. They are 1,000 euros for the tires alone and then like another 500 to get them here. So 1,500 euros for two tires. And the next thing is they're like four hours away. So we have to wait four hours now until the tires arrive. Uh, in the meantime, we're at least gonna lift up the car a little bit, raise them up and check the other side, maybe do an oil change, I don't really know. But yeah, we are losing so much time. We wanted to arrive in Monterey today. I honestly don't think it's gonna work out. So, oh my God, look at that. 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep you guys updated. This has been going too good for too long. <laughs> so this, it was necessary, I guess. What a day so far. Perfect. Da haben wir auch haben wir ein bisschen gescraped. Minimal beim Rahmen, aber es könnte also ein bisschen vorgehen sein. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, they're preparing the wheels right now to get back on the car. Uh, we're still waiting for the tires, but the wheels, you saw it in the inside, they were completely destroyed. So he's sending them, grinding them down so they're, they're smooth and flat again, at least a little bit more. By the way, really quick. This is where we scrape all the time, also on both sides. So it's not really that bad, but yeah. Yeah, underside of the car, honestly, I thought it's gonna be way worse, but it's perfect, you know? Only a little bit of scraping, no rust, nothing. Car looks brand new from underneath. And that's why you buy cars here in the US. Yeah, so the guys at the shop, they found another problem with my car, which is that the <laughs> sway bar linkage basically just broke off which uh, might explain why the car had so much body roll while we tried drifting it. So we're gonna try to find it. The thing is, we need to find somebody who can weld aluminum. I mean, Gabriel can do it, but he doesn't have the tools to do so. So let's see what we can come up with. Bubble gum and JB weld. In the meantime, while we were waiting for the tires to arrive, Mani and Gabriel went off to get a haircut for some reason, and I was on a mission to get the piece that was broken in the rear welded. I'm walking around with my stupid Louis Vuitton backpack. Three watches inside, three phones. Through the hood to get to a welding shop, and he actually did a pretty good job welding it back up for me. So we put it back on the car, and it was perfect. Yeah, one and a half hours back later. <laughs> Boys are back, and they look the same as usual. We at least have the rear tires on the car because we swapped the front ones to the rear now, and the new ones that are gonna come, we're gonna mount them on the front because they're gonna be a bit wider. So I think this setup should be a bit better for going sideways, which I still want to do. Also, in the meantime, really quick shout out to these guys, by the way. Here at Delta Tire, they hooked us up massively. I think we would have been honestly lost without them today. Because like I said, we're in the middle of nowhere. There was no way we could have gotten that tire with our car broken down. Yeah, one of the guy's girlfriends, she actually drove all the way there to pick up the tire for us. And should be here any minute. We're gonna mount the new tires and then we should be good to go. The car's raised up in the, in the back. I'm gonna show you in a second. Yeah, so these are my new tires. Gonna check the oil really quick afterwards. And now we're good for the rest of the road trip, hopefully. It is now 3 p.m. So we lost seven hours. Plus the three hours of yesterday, we lost 10 hours in total due to this flat tire and around $2,000. <laughs> Moment of truth, let's see how the car looks now. I hope it works. Schau mal vorne. Probieren wir es mal. Schnell. Should be good to go. Well, it's not scraping anymore, which is a good part. Looks a bit weird. Honestly, it looked better before, but whatever. At least it's functional now. Thanks again, shout outs to Delta Tire. If you're ever going down the Route 66 and you have a flat tire in New Mexico, you can definitely check by them. They were so helpful and they didn't even want any money, anything. They were just trying to be nice and helping us get where we need to go. So shout out to those people, honestly. Quick little resume. The car feels way better to drive now, honestly. We should have raised it up ages ago. It feels like you're driving in the cloud now. But the car feels a bit more stiff now. I think that is because we fixated the stabilizer, the rear stabilizer, because that, that honestly makes the car feel way better than it did before. Because before it felt kind of like driving a boat a little bit, which was comfortable for the road trip, but not so nice for sliding and everything else. We have to drive a few hours today to make up for the time that we lost. So I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't really know what's next, we're gonna see. We're still driving on Route 66 by the way, and yeah, maybe there is something cool. It does look very beautiful in here, I have to say. Yeah. 
we thought we were going to stop by. Ow, 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 ow. Also, ich habe gerade 87$ gezahlt, damit wir einen Meteoriteneinschlag anschauen. Ich hoffe, das ist nicht live, sondern es ist schon passiert. We are so far behind, but we took our time to stop to see a huge hole on the ground. Jetzt mal ohne Scheiß. Die haben voll Glück gehabt mit dem Haus da, dass der Meteorit sich nicht aufhört. Ich muss sagen, es ist zwar ein großes Loch, aber es ist kein 87 Dollar großes Loch. Das Loch in meinem Gapebeutel ist größer als das hier. It's literally nothing. For miles and miles and miles. Was machen wir weiter? Wir haben noch 10 das Loch im Boden. After this, we had to drive all the way across Arizona, which honestly I expected to be way different than it actually was. In my mind, Arizona was a very dry and deserty place, but the scenery that unfolded on us blew us all the way. We saw trees and beautiful mountains literally until the horizon. Arizona was probably one of the most beautiful states I've ever been to. And then, after a few more hours of driving, we arrived to LA, where we stayed for the night. In LA, now we snatching them. Have your crew enter, they'll leave with their Welcome back to pretty much the last stretch of our road trip all the way to Monterey Car Week. We made it here yesterday pretty late in the night. I have to say E39 so far is pretty much perfect. I really really love it. We have around six hours of driving ahead of us to get to Car Week today, which is going to be pretty good I guess. Also really quick before we go there I want to show you something really cool, but we have to drive there. So one pretty cool spot where we can finally test the E39 a little bit. I've been waiting to do that for a very long time. So let's just go. I'm motivated. Nice. Wir hocken seit gestern schon da und warten. Habt ihr das im Auto geschlafen? Ja. Nein, Quart. Quart? Quart haben wir im Auto. Ja, wie heute immer. This is the spot that I've wanted to go to all the time. Uh, it is basically a ghost town, an abandoned village. So they built this village sometimes, I think in the 80s. And ever since then, it has been left to rot. Nobody lives here, nobody comes here. And the cool part is you have the roads still here. So you can theoretically drive around here in this ghost town with annoying nobody, disturbing nobody, putting nobody in danger, which is honestly very, very cool. I'm gonna show you the city first properly because it is kind of cool to wander around here. Although it's also a bit sketchy because sometimes there's tweakers and other people just roaming around here. It's very hard to describe in video, but this area is huge. Yeah. Like you can't just walk around all of it because you see all the way back there and there's houses and stuff everywhere. And you can go in any of these houses, which is honestly insane. Let's go out. Explore a little bit. This has been on my bucket list for a very long time to come here with one of my cars and to just have some fun. I, I'm not quite sure why they abandoned it and why nobody's living here, to be honest. But it's been like this for a very, very long time. Just scared that there might be some animals and stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting to, to say the least. But I like stuff like that. And I guess some of you guys also kind of do. So obviously there's many teenagers coming here at night and just drinking and whatever. I don't really want to know what else goes on around here. But there's like, I would say close to 500 houses exactly like this one. It is very, very cool. I'm not quite sure if we're going to make it all the way through these very high speed corners with the E39 because the E39 does not have a lot of power. Uh, we came here once with the Hellcats, if you remember. That was pretty cool. The Hellcats, they did very, very well here. So I guess it's time to find out how the E39 does around this abandoned ghost village, I would, I would call it. I think it's pretty scary if you go here in the night, honestly. In the daytime it feels normal, but I would not go here once it's dark. All right, so let's see how the E39 likes this area here. I do have to say it is pretty sketchy. Oh, it's so grippy. Oh my God. Oh, that's a huge bump. <laughs> It works surprisingly well with the E39. I was a bit worried that it's gonna have too much grip because of the huge tires that we have on the car. There's 285s. But I have to say, it does work quite fantastic. You can throw this car really well into the corners, which is great.
Oh my god, this car is amazing to drift. Could use a bit more power or smaller tires to be honest. But I like it, I like it a lot. But this is very, very harsh on the tires. That's the issue. Like you get not many runs until you have to obviously replace the tires. So I kind of have to be a bit careful and not do it too many times because I don't want to change tires again. I was not quite sure if I'm gonna keep this car or not because I was not 100% certain if it's gonna drift the way that I wanted to drift. No, I do have to say this car gives you lots of confidence to slide it properly because of the long wheelbase. The weight of the car also helps you. It's similar with the Hellcats, but with the Hellcats you had a bit more power, so it was way easier. With this, you have to properly throw it in. Let's do a few more donuts here and then we get out. There's one special part that I also wanna show you about the city, but. Time we go to drift we say oh yeah let's put more air in the yeah, tires yeah. and we forget it every single time we... yeah and we got semi slicks semi slicks as, the as well yeah on yeah. the horsepower semi slicks na yeah natural aspirated mm. but i do have to say the car looks amazing feels yeah. amazing and i think it sounds amazing as yeah. well it's nice so i'm gonna show you the water park now let's go there it's a bit sketchy getting in and out of here honestly though so this right here is the abandoned water park We've talked about it right now. It, it's so surreal that it just builds stuff like this and the huge village and then just leave it to rot forever. And also to the, the person who like put his whole like- Yeah, passion. Passion, everything into this. And then just seeing it come to this must be devastating. But yeah, let's look at it. That's pretty cool. Tony Oaks. Tony Oaks pro skater, yeah. Can't believe we're literally in an abandoned water park with my car <laughs> after driving it all the way here. Oh, this spot is so cool. Bro, look at this. Oh, that is this scale. This feels insane. You don't really have those spots in Europe because, you know, we have not enough space. So every time something runs out of business, they just tear it down. But here, they have so much land, they just don't care. They just leave it and then it becomes this, what it is right now. I think we can play around here quite a lot with the M5. Let's see what we can find out and let's see what we can do. Scouting the area a little bit just to make sure there's no surprises here. I feel a bit stupid for leaving my car running all the way over there, but at least I see it now. <laughs> there's some girls having a photo shoot all the way over there. <laughs> They're gonna be not very delighted, I guess, when I start sliding the M5. Let's see what we can do. I'm actually so happy we came here. That's such a sick spot. It's a bit tight and sketchy, but I think it should work. Luckily, the M5 is not a big car. <laughs> Okay, it's very slippery and I have no traction on the front tires, but it could be worse. Oh. <sighs> 
so we have quite many potholes that we need to watch out for. That's the only thing, this place is riddled with potholes and metal rods sticking out the ground everywhere. So that can be a bit shitty, I guess. I've always dreamed of doing stuff like this. You can't tell me that this does not look fucking cool. Also, sorry to the girls having a photo shoot over there for disturbing your photo shoot, but I have to do what I have to do, and that is drift my M5. <laughs> and let the car cool down a little bit because it is getting quite hot. desert on Instagram for telling me about this spot here. I honestly did not expect that you could drive around the whole park with your yeah. car because <laughs> that's just insane. <laughs> this car is pretty heavy so it is kind of hard to throw it around these tight corners but it is doing pretty well I think. The only two things that I would probably change to the car is the rear differential doesn't lock 100% all the time but that is with every M5 the E60 also has the same problem and I think it could be a bit more stiff from the suspension. You saw it in like the abandoned neighborhood or abandoned city that the car was like really leaning into the corners. But I, I really have to say I love this car. You're gonna get a full review of the car once we make it to Monterey. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we are driving into Carmel City right now and I really have to say this car was probably the best idea I've ever had in my entire life because I don't think we could have driven as comfortably with any other car I own yeah. except for this one. Maybe the T-Rex but this one here was high class. It was pretty fuel efficient. It was very very nice to sit especially in the back. It is fun you know you can do donuts and stuff with it and it looks cool. And it has a V8 in it, and it's a BMW, so yeah. everything you need. So, yeah, thanks to Sean for building this nice car and then selling it to me. <laughs> um, I'm still not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. I kind of yes. like it. Yes. Yeah, Gabriel, Gabriel wants me to keep it. I would have wanted to buy another car, actually, when I get back to Austria, but this is actually so nice that I'm contemplating about just keeping this one. So I don't really know. Let me know what you think about it. Um, the last five days were pretty great, so it's gonna be a hard decision whether to keep it or sell it and buy something else. Also, I, what I really really like about this car is the whole interior. Everything feels so sturdy. It kind of feels, you know, this one is amazing. Feels like you're reloading a gun. That's when they used to build <laughs> good cars, you know? <laughs> I never really thought I was gonna ever in my life drive from the east to the west coast of the US. But yeah, here we are. We saw the Route 66. We saw some pretty interesting stuff. Let me just park the car somewhere here. So you guys can get a small teaser of what Car Week really is about because I think many European people they don't really know Car Week. So Car Week basically is just a huge event, like the biggest event in the world probably. 
where every car manufacturer will reveals their next cars for the next years and you have literally a shitload of supercars and normal cars just driving around. It's like Vertasi but a bit more high high end than Vertasi. So it's gonna be a good time. And everybody that we know is pretty much here. So sports car meet on the steroids. Yeah. <laughs> It's literally gonna be insane what we see here in the next two days. I mean, there's many cool cars, but there are literally no parking spaces, so it's a bit tricky. Boy, schau dir das XF jetzt davon. Nice car, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that was our road trip. We're gonna find a parking spot and probably the coast now, so you can see the sea, so we know that we made it from the east to the west. That was a trip that I'm never gonna forget, but we're not done yet. Car week. Yeah. Next video, gonna be insane. Watch it, hopefully. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. So that was it. Four days of driving, 4,500 kilometers later, we made it to Monterey just in time for car week. The trip is not over yet, as we have to experience car week to its fullest. And let me tell you guys, it's gonna be one hell of an adventure and definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Oh, and while we're at it, my new drop is dropping next week. Got a No Half Sense basic collection with three different shirts, two hoodies, and a classic jacket that all of you have been waiting for since the M5 A6 video. Get ready for the next video.